Alana Benary. I am the designer and founder of 21 Toys. Uh, I design toys as tools for social change. Uh, it's actually a reaction to uh, the growing needs of 21st century learners. Um, I'll get more into that by describing to you actually my first toy. Uh, that toy is called Connections. And it's actually a toy that I first designed with the Canadian National Institute for the Blind um, while I was in my thesis year of uh, studying industrial design at Carleton University. Uh, the toy was actually designed as a tool for navigation and empathy uh, between the visually impaired students that I was meeting with uh, to actually bridge communication caps with their sighted classmates. So I've actually done over hundreds of workshops. Um, the key thing to the success of this toy is actually how do you describe what you can't see so someone else can understand it. Uh, it goes far beyond visual impairment. It goes straight to communication. Um, tons of, uh, apart from just children, it's actually being used with adults. Um, lots of corporate relationship type uh, exercises as well. Uh, the foundations of this toy is around orientation and mobility, which are the foundations of uh, navigation for the visually impaired. The core is, where am I? Where am I going? How do I get there? Uh, it's all about communication uh, to understand where you're going. So. That's actually it for me quickly describing to you what the toys are because what my actual presentation is going to be about is the TTC. Uh, I'm new to Toronto <laughs> and I thought it would be kind of a fun test to actually test the navigation and empathy of the TTC, TTC system. Um, just a bit of a preface, um, I am, I'm not worldly, but I'm a bit of an international whatever. I have three passports. I have been to all these airports, New York, Paris, London. I'm from Montreal, um, and I actually was in London and Helsinki, so I've got a bit of a window into how lots of different cities navigate, how you just jump in and jump right into uh, navigating through the city. And apart from London, which is a complete atrocity, if anyone else has been there, I'm just going to specifically talk about what grinds my gears. I wrote this answer and forgot it. It's uh, cities that are international should make their signs internationally understood. So I'll kind of walk you through just my general beefs, and then I'm going to give you an example of what actually did happen. So my friend Grace, who was lovely enough to introduce me to this city, um, lives at Runnymede Station, so I stay with her when I'm in town to do uh, some workshops with the toys. Now, uh, Runnymede Station is an interesting station. As you can see here, I don't see any maps, so I actually took a screenshot, I think we're going ahead a bit, of um, the directions that I would get, for, let's say this were my first time in Toronto, from Runnymede where she is to this location. So there's a screenshot, and again, a little empathy, for, I am not from Toronto. Get off BLR, Bloor Danforth subway at Dufferin Station eastbound platform. So for someone that's not from Toronto, and bear with me, I understand the word Bloor, and I'm pretty sure that's a stop. Um, it's recently come to my attention that the entire line is called Bloor Danforth. I'm not getting off of Bloor Station and then walking to the Dufferin Station going on the east side. I also want to point out that I'm not quite sure how you call that station that looks like a U that's called Union. Um, Young University Spadina, which I'm also aware are a few number of stops, maybe not. Osgood, Osgood is on Queen, so Queen is called Queen, but Osgood is not called Queen, and yet, for some reason, you want to ruin people's day, you name two stops, Queen's Park and Queen. There's not that many stops, I'm not quite sure why all this happening, there's the Spadina George, just the, the graphic jumble of where am I going? And again, I don't know why we're not doing it to the end of the line, the beginning of the line, which I'm used to. So I'm actually gonna run you through this one really interesting day where I actually went from Toronto to Hamilton to do a workshop. Uh, I happened to go on a Saturday, so obviously, I think it was Bloor to Union or St. George Union, no subway whatsoever. So I get dropped off very last minute at the GO station, which is Union Station which ended up with this sign, and then, I'm, I'm, bear with me, I don't actually know the TTC logo, so I thought it was like a Superman F thing, and then there's a washroom, I'm not sure why there's ages 3 to 14 for the handicap, that looks like a YMCA, B Street means nothing, Front Street means nothing, and if we abandon the East and West Side system now, because I was kind of walking around with compasses at this point, okay, so I see a GO bus, um, that makes sense, I'm not sure if that's a Via Rail or a subway, um, anyway, luckily I made it to the workshop somewhat on time. Um, we're going to jump right to my way back, where the subway was still down. We get out of the station, um, we get herded through the construction onto a bus, which then takes us to another station where the bus driver is not explaining anything. Drops us off, I don't know what station I'm at, and for some reason that's a sign for subway. 
All I see is a tomato, so I'm pretty sure I might be going to a restaurant, and it says Subway, Subway, and Subway. So, fine, I'll go into this shopping mall to get to the Subway, and I'm trying to find the signs, and it says Bloor Street and Subway, Young Street, Bay Street, Subway. Bloor Street's going left, Bay Street's going right, and Subway is down. And the only thing I understand is Rosanna's boutique and their clothes anyway. So then I go downstairs and I'm like, all right, fine. Again, I'm just going to assume that some of these subways are going to take me somewhere. I'm frantically clicking on my phone because I've actually done a screen capture now because I don't have a data plan because I'm on a budget. And I'm looking for my, uh, the map of Toronto because I don't have it memorized because I still only see east and westbound. I still don't know where I am. I have absolutely no what, understand which stop I'm at. I'm trying to find a sign on the wall. Um, I can't see one, and yes, I know you guys are from Toronto, so I think one of the pillars I did find had it. Great, there's a red arrow, it's pointing, I can figure it out, but I've got to say, if you're sticking to the east and westbound, why is that facing north? <laughs> because I've just figured out your system, and I still don't know if I'm on the right side. Anyway, I finally managed to make it through Hamilton, quite blurry-eyed. I got on the subway, and then the first map that I see is to maritime studies at Memorial University. So my entire rant just kind of comes down to the fact that in terms of navigation, I'm not totally pleased uh, with how Toronto has handled that. But in terms of empathy, I have to say that it weren't for um, all these uh, frustrations and getting lost, I actually wouldn't have realized how surprisingly lovely Torontonians are and how lovely they are to help out a frantic Montrealer who's incredibly lost. So thank you very much.